Hey guys, the mood here. So I feel like I need to do a quest video. Like I can choose not to do it, but I can't not. Anyway, I will get this done and then I can move on to doing actual builds, you know, this way. So first is Alchemist. So first off, I'm not gonna focus on the gold and affinity and experience rewards because um, you can clearly see it, but I'm gonna highlight the items mainly because item plus quality, you know. Um, anyway, first quest, Father's Legacy. I've done this already in my previous video. Okay, well, turn in Potion of Healing, Potion of Invisibility, Potion of Protection, and the quest is done. You have to find them. Next quest, Golden Opportunity. Kill Ice Cobalt Archer, Ice Cobalt Axeman, you get Ring of Finesse Green, Falchion Green. Frozen Secrets, explore the Wolf Cave location on the Ice Caverns, two Wolf Pelts, Green Frost Amulet. Next, In the Walls. Explore the Dark Magic Library in the Hole in Crypt's location. Blue Spellbook. Blue Owl Pendant. Mystic Enquiries. Kill 5 Warlock and 5 Wizard in any dungeon. Previously it was Hole in Crypt's, so it's easier now. You get 5, sh five Shadow Hood. <laughs> what? You get Shadow Hood. You get Mystic Gloves. Next, we have Odd Ingredients. Um, turn in 6 Intact Skull. Two Mimic Tooth, six Moldy Bread, you have to find them in the dungeon. So you get the Blue Falchion, Blue Turn Show, XP, Affinity, blah blah blah. Potion Trials, so you have to use two potions of healing, two potions of invisibility, two potions of protection, two potions, two potions, I'm confused, two magic protection potions, two pro potions of protection. So they don't have to be gray quality, they can be gray and above, so during one a session, uh, in the Holy Crypts, must escape. I think taking a red static also counts as escaping for this quest. So, purple ring of resolve, purple loose trousers, let's go. Winged nuisances, next quest. Kill 15 dead skull in the Holy Crypts, you have to do, the, do this in the same session. So, you can do it solo, you don't have to survive, so just go to the pyramid, do it, kill them, all that, you know. And reward the purple buckler, um, purple halberd. And the last quest, Okay, the last quest for Alchemist is kill 5 Demon Berserkers and kill a Ghost King. So I did this solo today in Normals with Rogue, pretty much default gear. So you get Legendary Recurve Bow as a reward and Legendary Magic Staff. And uh, also in Service Tab you unlock Fangs of Death Necklace, which is basically like a Torque of Soul, except you get, get like Luck as the base. And the Grim's Mattering Craft, which is like a nice way to get strength, especially if you're a Rogue. So might as well craft one right now. Ah. I mean, physical power, that's nice. Okay, next we have Amorath. So, first quest, mining for peace of mind, turn in 6 cobalt ore. You have to find them, can't buy them. Blue Templar armor, blue plate pants. Next quest, facing your fe fear, skill skeleton, 15 skeleton, any any dungeon. Blue ox pendant, 2 pickaxes green. Next quest, not a coward. Survive in the dungeon 4 times, holding crypts. You get blue chapel de fer and blue plate boots. Next quest, Fire Within, uh, turn in 6 Ruby Silver Ore, and you get Dark Cuirass Purple and Purple Vigilant Cloak. So Ruby Silver you can find in Inferno, in, um, I will put a, sc uh, put, a, put a picture on the screen, I guess. Next, Braving the Shadows, um, Kill Cleric 5, Kill Rogue 5, Dungeon Any. I think previously this was, um, I'm not sure if it was Any or not, I think it was Goblin Caves, I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, Rapier, Purple Rapier. Purple Spangenhelm, that's the reward, moving on, green skins come, so you kill Elite Grade Goblin Archer, 10, Elite Grade Goblin Axeman, 10, you get a purple club, purple fine cuirass, so you don't get any service upgrades, at least for the last quest, I was hoping for ruby silver crafts, but I think you can get like the rare crafts, I'm not sure if it's from the last quest or any of the quests before, but yeah, moving on. Okay, moving on to Fortune Teller. First quest, Stars Align, use Potion of Luck three times uh, in the Goblin Caves. So you have to remember not to use it in the lobby unless they fix the bug. So Green Crystal Ball, three potions of healing. Next quest, Hidden Destiny, survive in Goblin Caves three times. Four Frannies, for throwing axes. Pulling back the Veil, kill three Dead Beetles, three Dead Skulls, three Mimics. You get Ring of Vitality, three potions of luck. Next is Sacrifices Must Be Made. Interact with Altar of Sacrifice five times. You get the Curve Bow and Padded Leggings. So this is the quest you can do solo. Pain, I know. Mystic Insights. Explore the Icicle Cave location. 
So that's the room with the treasure hoard on ice caves. You get studded leather blue, po, po point blue, and fate in the unknown. Turn in five crystal balls. So for me, two is the max. I don't need more than two balls. Anyway, reward blue crystal sword, blue hand crossbow. The next quest, obscured paths, which I don't have unlocked, but the reward is, I mean, the objective is interact with 20 torches in holding crypts. And the reward is a purple dark plate armor and purple barbuta helm. Next, we have webs of darkness, where you have to destroy five spider pods. The reward is a purple bear pendant and purple low boots. Last, we have tide of darkness, where you have to kill a skeleton warlord and eight demon dogs. The reward is legendary falchion and a legendary club. Okay, now we have the goblino merchant. So first quest, away with the green skins. Kill five goblin archers, five goblin axemen, five goblin warriors. You get three bandages and green laced, laced turn shoe. Next, secrets of the dead. Explore the cave altar location and survive. Green spellbook, green magic staff. Moving on, goblin's pride. Turn in ten goblin ears. You get blue mercurial, mercurial cloak. Next, we have my favorite fleshy. So here you need to kill seven players and the reward is uh, three surgical kits and three oil lanterns. So when you have a new character, actually both this questline and this questline is open. And um, when you're, um, if you want to make gold, this is actually a good way to do so when you make a new, new character. So you get to this quest, you kill two giant centipedes, two giant spiders, five goblin mages, and you get the gold coin back. So once you hit 15, you can sell it. Uh, transfer your gold to another character and then just repeat or whatever, do what you like, I don't care. Next, step by step, survive in the dungeon three times consecutively. And the reward is Rauhide Gloves, Wind Locket. So, buggy buns. <laughs> Here we have four beetle wings, two bug shells. You have um, the reward Ring of Courage purple and purple light gauntlets. Nice. Create chaos. Create chaos by killing crates. So you need to destroy 25 small wooden crates for this one and you will get a purple ring of resolve and purple bear pendant. So this quest is for goblin caves, of course. Gobo brawl. So in goblin caves, kill elite grade goblins, 15 of them, and you have to do this in one session. They reward three purple surgical kits, one open salad purple, and uh, then next quest, interact with two lion's head chests in the same session in goblin caves. You'll get a purple watchman cloak and purple stitched turn shoe. Next quest, Gamba. Gamba. Okay, we are gambling. Survive in the dungeon three games in a row. Is it? No, it's not, in, it's not three games in a row. Okay, it's just survive three times in the dungeon without taking any damage, goblin caves. I was actually trying, when I was doing this, I was specifically surviving three games in a row. Turns out I can't read. So legendary rapier, the reward, legendary spellbook. So on these you can get like nice money if you get nice rolls. So one eyed foe, kill cyclops, easy peasy, gold coin bag for you. And uh, 1000 XP actually, nice way to get XP as well. So yeah, that's it for Goblin Merchant. And also, yeah, you get a lot of, um, you can get a lot of stuff now. Like once you do all the quests, yeah, yeah. Okay, next we have Leathersmith. So first quest, search and rescue. Survive in the dungeon six times, goblin caves. You get a blue leather cap and blue regal gamson. Moving on one step closer, explore goblin prisons A location in the goblin caves. And you have to survive. As a reward, you get a blue lantern and three oil lanterns. Now here we have captivating, captivating adventures. So turn in five leather caps as a reward, blue reinforced gloves and blue rugged boots. Next quest, Hidden Truths, kill 15 elite grade Frost Skeleton Archers and Frost Skeleton Crossbowmen, Both, so each of them 15. You'll get an epic longbow and epic windless crossbow. Next we have Brutish Truths, kill 5 barbarians and 5 fighters in any dungeon. So, I don't remember if it was previously on specific map or not, I think it was Goblin Caves, I'm not sure. So you'll get epic falchion, epic ground shield. Last quest is interact with oak chests, 15 of them, in the ice caves, in one session, and you must survive. So you'll get epic heavy boots, 
and epic heavy gambson so most importantly when you do this quest you'll get these service unlocks so initially you have copper light uh, cobalt crafts but then you get foul boots demon grip gloves wolf hunters uh, grave wolf gloves tripelt northern tunic demon clad leggings and most importantly <laughs> i mean for me what i just crafted is a dread hood which has one agility as the base but it just looks amazing no hello isn't this like the ultimate drip so ranger and rogue can use it but it looks nice i really love it so now we have arrived at the surgeon so first quest turn in five bandages um reward f uh, one surgical kit one ring of survival both green Next we have Alchemy's Dangers, kill one giant centipede and three goblin mages. The reward is green necklace of peace and green ring of vitality. Next, natural aid. Explore the stone graves A location in the goblin caves. Three explosive bottles, three bandages, pot green. Doctor's orders. Explore the four rooms location on the howling crypts. <coughs> so it's six potions of healing and six bandages, both blue quality. Next we have Undead Eradication, where you have to kill 10 Elite Grade Mummies and 10 Elite Grade Zombies. You get Blue Reinforced Gloves and Blue Radiant Cloak. Prepare it for the unexpected. Use 7 Surgical Kits. You get Blue Buckled Boots and Blue Leather Chouses. Frost Aid. Use 5 Bandages, 3 Portions of Healing, 1 Surgical Kit. So you have to do this in ice cavern and in one session and you have you have to survive as well so you get one epic shadow hood and one epic turn shoe purple epic same thing so sanctified healing next quest interact with health shrine three times in the ice caverns in one session you don't have to survive but the thing is you have to be the first person to interact with the shrine of health so you'll get purple dashing boots and purple ring of quickness last quest for surgeon interact with golden chest and you get two gold ingots and an epic rat pendant so at some point also the affinity gives you cheaper bandages for the surgeon so next we have taylor first quest creative space kill one demon berserker two demon bats three skeleton mages the reward three silver powder and one blue ornate uh, chazernut next quid pro quo uh, turn in one copper light attire and one copper light pants, both green. So you don't have to find them in game. So you can craft them or buy from the market. So here it applies. The reward blue shoe, blue shoes of darkness. Yes, and uh, green frost amulet. Wait, where's my? Uh, soon in secrecy, explore the blood blood platforms location of the holy crypts. The reward is purple ruby silver vestments. Next we have elegance in execution. We have to kill five bard, five ranger. The reward is an epic hand crossbow and epic loot so this quest previously i'm pretty sure it was in goblin caves now it's in any dungeon so that's nice makes it easier next we have tailored wellness interact with shrine of health six times in the goblin caves so you can't use the, you can't use the same shrine you have to use different shrines and you have to be the first person to interact so it's an epic ring of vitality and epic chaperon next we have sprucing up um turn in three enchanted dark fabrics they drop from uh, skeleton mages, eight old cloths and uh, spider silk, which drops from uh, spiders. And old cloths just drops from skeletons, so it's a frequent drop. You get mystic vestments and a cloak of darkness. And with these quests done, these are all the crafting options I have for Taylor. So next is Tavern Master, who has a lot of quests. So first quest missing map, explore barracks location on the Holy Crypts. So, three potions of protection, three potions of healing, um, both green quality. Comes with the territory, kill skeleton archer, five, kill skeleton footman, five, and kill five skeleton guardsmen. So, you get green crossbow and three bandages. Next, we have hidden reserves, turn in five veil, you have to find them in game, uh, status looted basically, and you'll get three blue ales and uh, green adventurer boots. Next, we have building trust. Turn in two broken skull, two golden teeth, two rusty broken swords, four bones. You'll get blue loose trousers and three green bandages. Retracing the past, kill skeleton champion, great, three skeleton mages. You'll get blue riveted gloves and three portions of invisibility. Next we have oh my bard, 
survive in the dungeon five times, it has to be holding crypts, you'll get three surgical kits, six bandages, green quality, frozen gaze, frozen gaze, turn in three glowing blue ice eyes, the reward is blue ring of resolve and dark leather leggings blue, so these drop from the ice caves uh, zombies by the way, frosty escapes, survive in the dungeon five times, and that's for specifically ice cavern so you have to yeah you have to survive in ice cavern five times you'll get three campfire kits blue and a blue regal gambeson next we have a giant problem where you have to kill three giant berserkers three giant shielders reward the blue vikings for the blue pavis dark disappearances kill 15 dead schools five dragonflies five dragonflies ten mummies reward epic hound school and epic dark leather leggings Next, Elite and their secrets. Kill Elite Great Skeleton Axemen, five of them, and kill five Elite Great Skeleton Spearmen. You'll get Epic Champion Armor and Epic Leather Gloves. Next, we have Loyal Court Wizard. Explore the Dark Ritual Room A. So this is the boss room on Inferno. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's A is for Lich, and then B, C is uh, Warlord and Ghost King, and you have to survive. Reward Epic Dark Quirus and Epic Occultist Hood. Next quest, Blessings B. Interact with Shrine of Health, Shrine of Power, Shrine of Protection, Fountain of Speed. So you have to do this on Holling Crypts in one session and you must survive. So pretty sure you have to be the first person to interact with all of these. So it can be tricky, do it in normals or whatever as you prefer. Reward Epic Necklace of Peace, Epic Ring of Survival. So next we have Protector's Vrat. Um, turn in one Cantor Hoof. And if you scroll up here, also kill two demon berserkers and three demon cantors. Reward legendary fox pendant. That's a nice reward actually. And uh, legendary riveted gloves. So last quest, confronting the darkness. Kill ten elite skeletons and kill one lich. And the reward is a stash tab for you, extra stash tab. Okay, now collector. First quest, chilling expedition. Kill one frost giant berserker, three frost wolves. 5 Frostwalkers, reward green round shield, green survivable. Next, more like home, turn in 2 ancient scrolls, 2 gold crowns, 2 gold water pots, so any quality essentially. You get a blue lantern and 3 magic protection potions. Next, we have frosty pests, you have to turn in 8 kobold ears, which you can get from killing the kobold uh, mobs in the ice caves. So, Chris Dagger. Red Pendant as the reward. Blue Chris Dagger, green Red Pendant. Next, not friendly. Kill 12 pl players, any dungeon. You'll get 6 potions of protection, 6 magic protection potions, 3 surgical kits. So, all in blue quality. Frost Mountain Ascent. Explore the 4 root location in the ice caverns. You must survive as well. So, 5 campfire kits, blue as the reward, and 1 blue ring of survival. PQ Peculiar collections, turn in 6 grave essence, 4 moldy bread, 4 wolf fang, 4 wolf pelts, so you have to find them in the game. And as a reward you get wolf hunter leggings and phoenix choker, both blue quality. Next, glacial conquest, kill 15 elite grade skeletons in the ice caverns in one session and you must survive. Reward, epic laced turn shoe and epic padded leggings. Next we have guiding light, where you have to... Find and turn in 15 oil lanterns, you'll get epic heater shield and epic lantern as the reward. So last quest for collector at the moment is morbid souvenirs where you have to turn in looted Wendigo hoofs, two of them, and six Wendigo's sharp claws. As a reward you'll get blue demon grip gloves and epic heavy leather leggings. So treasurer. First quest, Ceremonial Secret, turn in 5 Ceremonial Daggers, um, as a reward, Green Crystal Sword, Green Castilian Dagger. So next quest, Forbidden Rituals, explore the old tomb location on Holy Crypts and survive. Green Adventurer Tunic and Green Adventurer Boots as the rewards. Echoes of Eternity, kill 3 Wraiths in any dungeon, 5 Lockpicks, damn these Lockpicks looking big actually, and Blue Tattered Cloak. Next, Lies in the Coffins. Explore the pyramid location in Holy Crypts and must escape. So you get one blue golden teeth, tooth, and one blue spellbook. So also remember this must escape for crypts 
for most quests at least it works by taking red portal as well like going to inferno silver lore turn in 200 silver coins you'll get 10 gold coin purses next mimics and money so kill seven mimics and turn in two mimic tooth as a reward blue bear pendant blue ring of survival bundle of bangles next quest um collect all these bangles they have to be blue quality and up so i guess it's easier to do this in high roller just looting the treasure hoard you'll get five potions of luck and one golden key next golden entry interact golden interact with golden door um so this is in howling crypts the golden doors you'll get an epic ring of quickness and epic ring of wisdom next infernal throne explore the demon throne location in howling crypts escape you'll get the crimson ring and epic longbow next gold rush interact treasure hoard four times in the goblin caves so when you interact with the treasure hoard it only counts for the first interact and then you need the new treasure hoard to count four times so you'll get epic leather gloves and epic wanderer attire next colossal takedown kill cave troll once you'll get legendary tethered cloak and legendary ravhide gloves last quest for treasurer super worth it if you can complete it so turn on all these turn in all these royal gems you'll get a gold coin chest so that's very nice moving on so weaponsmith first quest turn in five rare weapons you'll get all these as rewards castilian wormhole longbow crystal ball all green yep blades of myth not quest blades of myth next quest wow i can't speak explore pyramid location in the ice caverns and you must escape you'll get three trap disarming kits and three potions of protection next the search continues kill three wendigos eight frost walkers dungeon type any but come on you have to do this on ice caves so ring of courage and watchman cloaks as the rewards secrets of gold turn in six gold ore you have to loot them not buy them you'll get the divine blade and divine short sword so both are blue quality Battleforge next quest, kill 3 players, any dungeon, 1 session, nothing hard, I don't think so. Epic Castilian Dagger, Epic Zwei Hunter, and Epic Crystal Sword as the rewards. Next, an old Unbroken, interact with Stone Tombs 25 times, so this is an annoying quest. So as a reward you'll get Epic Magic Staff, Epic Old Shoes, and Epic Wormhole. That's it for Weaponsmith. Also, once you have the quest done, I mean, the service tab is like not yet anything special so we need more weaponsmith quests which are probably coming this week so the last trader we have is woodsman first quest turn in five campfires reward surgical kit three explosive bottles next quest is invasive species where you have to kill one demon kentaur and five demon dogs as a reward you'll get one potion of luck and one green heavy leather leggings next fortune's guidance Explore the prison's A location on the Holy Crypts and you must escape. Reward Leather Cap Green, Green Dashing Boots. Next, Cramped Quarters. Kill 12 players, any dungeon. You get a blue Warhammer and blue Crystal Ball. Next, Explosive Endeavors. Turn in 7 Explosive Bottles. Reward Epic Lantern, Blue Forest Hood. Absolutely Batty. Explore the Waiting Room location in the Holy Crypts. You must escape. As a reward, you'll get blue demon clad leggings and green round shield. Next quest, we have infernal champions. Kill three demon bats, two demon berserkers, three demon cantors, and eight demon dogs. You'll get epic op occultist tunic and epic dark leather leggings. Moving on, amidst peril, survive in the dungeon three times. Holding crypts must escape consecutively. So three survives in a row, according to the description of this task. You'll get an epic quarter staff and epic short sword. Last quest for a woodsman so far is Haunting Presence, where you have to explore Dark Ritual Room A, B, and C. So these are um, all the quests, all the boss locations in Inferno. So Ghost King, Warlord, and Lich. You'll get Grave Wolf gloves and epic rugged boots. Just like last time, I made a Biku Bigu quest spreadsheet. So this time, apparently, we have. 96 quests i think previously it was 60 something like that so we have more already um so here's the merchant quest name task reward status you can sort your active quests for example if you so prefer to do so 
Um, what else is here? Types, you can sort by types. For example, explore, find, you want to do like find quests only or find plus skill. You can sort it here. Um, see what you need to find in this column. Um, the formatting is inconsistent, I notice. Sometimes I write 6x or sometimes I write x6. I hope it doesn't bother you. If it does, well, that's a you problem. Anyway, uh, I also did like um, explore quest sheet. So here is all the explore quests sorted and the picture added. So if you're not colorblind, you can actually see the red color for these quests. Um, I don't know how colorblindness works. Um, that's also a you problem. <laughs> I mean, if someone requests me specifically to do this in a different color, I will do it. Just ask kindly and... <clears throat> I will do um, do what I can. And uh, yeah, um, I hope you found uh, this valuable. I, I hope this will be a valuable or a useful tool in your questing journey. And uh, they are probably adding new quests on uh, Thursday, I guess. And I will add them at my earliest convenience. So yeah, I will upload this to Google Sheets. And uh, yeah, hopefully... hopefully uh, what? Hopefully everything will be fine there. So uh, I appreciate you all being here. Thanks for watching and bye-bye. Um,